each other very well. So let me ask you some questions. What color are your eyes? Mine are brown. Is your hair straight or wavy or curly? Mine's straight. Can you roll your tongue like this? If you can't, don't worry about it. Don't practice because chances are you'll never be able to. Like your hair color, like your hair shape, like your eye color, it's all built into you. You either can or you can't and there's nothing you can do to change it because it's in your genes. And let me explain that. Your body and my body is made up of millions of cells. And a cell, if you could blow it up to an enormous size, would look a bit like this. It's a big bag of stuff, and in the middle there's a nucleus. And inside the nucleus are these pairs of things, and they're called chromosomes. They're very important because strung out along them, like beads, are the genes that control your shape and size and colour and all sorts of things. In fact, if I could show you a model of those, here we are, those are the two chromosomes in that pair there. I'll get rid of the cell and we'll look at the chromosomes themselves. Well, you've got two chromosomes because one comes from your father and one comes from your mother. And they come together and the combination of the characters that they have dictates what you're going to be like. In fact, those characters, like the beads along these chromosomes, uh, are dictated by genes. And that's what the beads represent. They are genes. And each gene controls a certain character. It might be the colour of your eyes, or it might be the shape of your nose, or it might be, like here, whether or not you can roll your tongue. Well, this person is somebody who can't roll their tongue. That's what the green genes represent here. That's somebody who just is unable to roll their tongue into a tube. Over here, we've got quite a different person. The chromosomes are the same, but they've got blue genes here, and the blue gene says you can roll your tongue. And so we've got a tongue roller here, and the last person was a non-tongue roller. Well, what happens if you have a father who perhaps contributes a gene that says you can roll your tongue, and a mother who contributes a gene that says you can't? Who's going to win? Well, that depends a bit on the character and the quality of the thing we're looking at. But in the case of tongue rolling, the gene that says you can roll completely overrides the gene that says you can't, and so you're a tongue roller. In the case of your hair shape, the gene that says you are straight doesn't quite win over the gene that says you are curly. You end up with something in between, and that is wavy hair. So one way or another, the genes that you've got from your mother and your father are jostling around and interacting, and one way or another, they really control what you can look like and what you can do, and generally, the sort of person you are.